Peace to the YouTube family, Cam Nation. It's your boy Ray Imperial back with another edition of the Imperial Diaries. A uh, couple of announcements. Raina is in heat. She's coming up on a year old. Not quite a year old yet, but she is uh, currently bleeding uh, in her first heat. She will not be bred. She will not be bred. Um, to those that think my boy is a bully because of his structure, I'd like to offer you a glimpse at some of these pictures of him when he's in top physical condition. Although he is heavily muscled and he does have that mass, he is not an American bully, right? These dogs are not American bullies. I'm sorry to disappoint so many. But again, more structure. You see what he looks like when he's lean, when he's cut, he's ready. Y'all see yellow see more of that this, uh, this summer. And uh, here's his brother Titan from the same litter. His little mate brother Titan off of Havoc and White Gold. Heavily muscled. This is Maximum Pitts Bella. She's also off of Havoc and White Gold, but she came from a different breeding than Titan and my boy came from. This is my boy's father, Havoc, Maximum Pitts Havoc. Again, you can see where he gets the, the, the structure, the, the power in his structure from. Right? This is his mother, Maximum. Uh, I'm sorry, Gargoyle Pits White Gold. Gargoyle Pits White Gold. Um, again, you see the structure on them. And to those who want to know whether or not Camelot dogs a game, here you have Red Hot's Jack Boots, two time winner. So, just a little glimpse to let y'all know what we do around here. And I'm going to let y'all watch the rest of this video. <laughs> that you're seeing here is a good two three years after the video that was posted right and the major difference here is that he has never in his life seen a sleeve before today let me say that again he has never in his life worked a sleeve before today and you hear the pup also Camelot that bitch is going crazy because she want this sleeve too. You understand? So this is what I'm trying to display to y'all. You have to understand that the dog did in fact have the tools. On that particular day, he was challenging my particular authority on the yard. He was showing out for the bitch that was in heat that was on the yard also. And the other bitch that was in heat that was in the house at the time. So never be confused about these dogs, how they're trained, and what, we, what they're put through. You understand what I'm saying? Each of these dogs know what it is to grab it, and each of them knows what it is to leave it. So <laughs>
some puppies off of them, right? He's such a good boy. He's such a good boy. What's this thing? What's this thing? sleeve for him right he's grabbing this part here my arm is not in there right if my arm was in there he'd be grabbing my arm and I'm gonna let him go ahead one time so go demonstration man just a light demonstration don't ever think that these dogs are too high prey drive in order to be taught and in order to be trained properly right now understand I am NOT a professional dog trainer right I don't send my dogs to obedience school I don't do none of that I simply work with the dog as the dog is right and so what you see going on here I'm not worried about technicalities. I'm not worried about how long he stays. I'm not worried about whether or not he immediately releases. I'm concerned with the fact that he understands what's being said to him and that he is attempting to comply, right? As much as his nature will allow him to, he is attempting to comply. And so that's what you see when you see him locked on to this motherfucker and he looking like he ain't trying to move, right? And I can hit this motherfucker all day long he should not move. He should not come for this motherfucker. Even if I pick this shit up, right? When I start doing this, he should move until I stop. Suka! 
it. Beep it. Drop it. Eh. Eh. Good. she was properly tethered. We don't want her to just grab and release. And that is the one thing I do notice about my pup is that she doesn't grab and hold. You know, uh, she'll grab and then try to get a better bite. She might shake a little bit, but she's going to release and try to get a better bite. And she constantly releases her grip. And we want to teach her that this is not a thing to do. Right? So she can't have the toy unless she can grab and hold. And that's all it is. And this is just a game for us. We're just playing, right? Watch it. Watch it. Watch it. Good job, good job. Watch. Watch. Watch it. <laughs> oh. Yes. Watch it. good bite just now. I don't know if y'all can see that. But um must have turned a little red there, but I'm a black dude so y'all ain't gonna see too much of that. But she got a real good bite in there. So we're gonna let her relax for now. She did a great job for first day. We got her to grab and hold. And that's what we want. Imperial flame kennels y'all keep the heat. 